Hi, my name's Trish. I got a 22 inch Blackstone griddle. I was hoping to be able to take it camping. I'm five foot two. I weigh about 148 pounds. I need to lose some weight. This thing's kind of a bitch. I'm not too sure if you'll be able to take it camping if you're my size. Probably need to put some weight on, not fat like I did. Here it is coming out of the box. At least I'm trying to. I would say, let's see here. This is my arm, okay? It's extended, let's move it. I don't know, it's a good size. Uh, I will show you this, hold on, it comes with a sticker. It says it can do all these amazing things. One cooking zone, two cooking zones, stand, tabletop. Those little one pound, two pound bottles are the 20 pound. It's a little bit big. All right, let me try to get it out of the box. I'll put it on the stand. Okay, I'm back. I got it out of the box. Not going to lie, it was a bit of a bitch. A bit of a beast. So I got the sticker. Comes wrapped like this. I think if you order from the website or a fancier version that doesn't come from Walmart, it's got the stainless steel. This one's not. As you can see, here's a little stand, which all came together. Pretty idiot proof. You just unscrew these and extend the legs. Okay, when I open this lid up that the Walmart version comes with, it came with this box of mystery goodies I haven't opened yet. All right, what it says is breakfast, lunch, dinner. Well, kind of no shit, right? All right, 12 eggs, 12 burgers, 12 pancakes. Look at that. Ooh, 358 square inches of surface. Bacon, 30 hot dogs, nine T-bones. This is gonna be more than enough for two people. Would I personally take this one camping? I don't know, it seemed kind of heavy. Kind of seemed like a pain in the ass for just me and a kid. Do I think it's gonna be awesome overall? Yeah, can't wait to use it. So, I guess my recommendation, if you got a small camping crew like me, I probably would have just gotten the 17 inch one, but I guess in a way, go big or go home, right? Alrighty, I took the griddle surface off. It's got the two H burners everybody likes to keep talking about. Ooh, uh. Um, this thing probably gets super messy. I would say unless Zach Efron plans on going camping with me, probably not. Gonna load this big thing around. Here, let's see if I can pick it up. You just fell, sorry. I would say, all right, maybe if I did one piece at a time, I would take it with me. But definitely not all together, because I've got to, I work out my table muscle. So far, this thing's looking cool. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Well, wait a minute. Let's see what our mystery box is. All right, last but not least, it's the other box. It came with four of these. The grease trap, the handle, and the shelf. All right, here's the instruction manual, which of course I tossed to the side because, well, it's me. Uh, looks like you need some stuff. Looks like a wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver. So it says put it on a flat surface, put those pegs on it, remove the griddle, adjust the legs to the desired height. Then you just slide the shelf on it, super easy. Put the grill on top, put the handle on, and voila. And then it says ensure two ignition needles are set three to seven millimeters above the burner tube. So in case you don't know what a millimeter is, you're going to have to look that up. So really what 2.5 centimeters is one inch. So basically it's not very high at millimeters because even though this is an American product, 
who doesn't want to use the metric system that we don't use nobody knows right all right then you put that on there you put your little propane tank on voila and then it has directions in espanol all right i'm not going to get to use this thing today because i need a propane tank and i have to go get one hopefully everybody enjoyed this lovely unboxing video of your 22 inch blackstone griddle sold at walmart is the one i got you guys have a fantastic day